Hi guys, we just pulled up to the store. We're doing some baby shopping for Quinn today. I always keep a list on my phone of just stuff that I see for her that's cute online or whatever, or if I know there's something that she's gonna need in the next size coming up or just anything like that, I put it in a little list in my phone. <laughs> Eric's she likes the, the face thing. mask apparently. <laughs> so hopefully we're gonna get some of those things checked off our list today. <laughs> We're at Bye Bye Baby and I'm so happy to say that they are sponsoring today's video. They're basically a one-stop shop for all of your baby needs. I know a lot of you have seen my baby must-haves video and I know a lot of you actually found my channel from that video. So I think I said at the beginning of that video that when I was pregnant and getting my baby registry together, I got so overwhelmed. I literally had a meltdown on the couch. I was crying. I had watched so many videos of what you need and what you have to have and all this stuff and I just, it overwhelmed me. I wish I would have just come and looked at Bye Bye Baby first and talked to one of their consultants. You can literally book an appointment with someone and they have experts that can guide you through all the different baby things, especially as a first time parent. That would have been so helpful. They have such a wide range of items for you to choose from and they also have things for every budget. Eric and I definitely aren't the type that like to spend a ton of money on things, especially when your baby outgrows them quickly or whatever. And if you do like to spend a lot of money and you like the top of the line things, they have them here. Or if you're more like us and don't necessarily need the top of the line, they also have things for your budget. Okay, one thing I know that I wanna look at is their like baby room decor section. They have a ton of stuff that you would need for decorating your baby's nursery. And Eric and I officially decided that we're gonna move Quinn's crib to the other wall in her room. And it's just a totally plain white wall. So I wanna to try to see if they have anything that I can put up on her wall. I also wanna like paint it and stuff and do like a cool design on it, but I'm gonna see what decor they have to put up. Are you going shopping? We're in the baby store. Look at her little outfit. She's a penguin for shopping day. Quinn has this little toaster and she loves it. She will literally play with this thing for so long. It keeps her so busy. Here is the food section for feeding. I know I wanna get some of these for Quinn eventually. I've been looking at them lately. I don't know if I'm getting them today or not, but I might. They have all these cute little spoons and forks and stuff for starting foods with your baby. So if you guys are gonna need a stroller or a car seat, they have so many. You need to just come here and look at them all. Quinn's car seat is this brand, Chico, and we're really happy with it. They have lots of strollers and car seats from them here. So something that we're really looking at today is a jogger stroller. We really considered getting one back before Quinn was even born, like when we were making our registry. You guys know we go on the bike path a ton during the summer, so we really thought about just getting a jogger stroller to begin with, but then we ended up not getting one because Quinn's car seat combo came with the car seat, the car base, and a stroller, and we're really happy with our Chico stroller. They probably sell that same one here too, and I would buy it again, but we also would really like to have a jogger just for the more like rugged things. So we're gonna look around for a while at all the strollers and just see what options we have which are a lot <laughs> so we just walked past this wagon type deal I've never seen one of these if I was a kid and like our family was going on a walk I would have absolutely been so excited to get inside of this I know me too this thing looks so fun there's two seats and they feel like they're like Tempur-Pedic or something it looks so comfortable and fun in here we'll have to keep this in mind when we have more kids this baby jogger stroller is actually the one that we were looking at when we were making our registry. It looks so nice and the seat looks super comfortable too. We're gonna test it out. What do you think? It's so smooth. Did you notice that? Did you push it a little? Yeah, I did a little bit. I noticed. It's literally so smooth. That's why we wanted a jogger, because they're so much smoother. And what do you think? She just likes the little plastic piece. But it has this thing, and then this little pocket. 
and it's like a clear plastic, which I actually love. Our other stroller has a window like this, but it's like mesh, which is nice, but there have been times when we've gone out and it started sprinkling and it literally went right in on her. So I love that this wouldn't let rain get through and it's like magnetic too. There's also a window on the top too. So you can see in two different places. Then the front thing comes down so far, which I also love. I think I've actually vlogged on our walks before when on our other stroller, this thing only came this far and I would literally like drape a blanket down because the sun would be in Quinn's eyes. But this one comes down super far. <laughs> Eric's trying out all the tricks. I just can't believe how smooth it is. Oh, you can cool. access it from the front. Oh, is that oh. so you can prop it up? Yeah. I've literally wished that her stroller had that before. Like when I lay her down flat. This is super nice. Okay, so that stroller is definitely an option for us. We're looking at a different one now. So far it's between this one and the baby jogger. This brand is Bob. Has the little window on top and the visor part comes down super far just like the other one but it actually looks a little bit more sturdy like the wheels and stuff and since that's the point of us getting a jogger we kind of like this one a little more they have everything you could possibly need for pumping which as you know i've used about all of that stuff and wish i would have come here first because it would have been everything in the same place i'm gonna get one of these insulated bags because we have a couple of them but they only fit quinn's small bottles and now she pretty much almost always has a big bottle and so we never have oh my goodness <laughs> So we never have a way to transport them. One of you guys just messaged me on Instagram the other day and asked me how we keep her milk cold when we go out places. And that's how we have an insulated bag and it's super nice. I'm gonna get a box of her bottles. We have a few of the big ones, but now that she's barely taking the small ones anymore, we need to stock up on the bigger ones. We're also getting some of the fast flow nipples because that's all she uses. Well, it's all she's used for quite a while, but we've needed some more for quite a while now. I'm switching out the freezer bag that I've got because Eric just found it in gray and I actually think the gray one is cuter. This is our baby monitor that we love and then we also have this humidifier for her and I have recommended this before too. We really like it because it's like a night light and a diffuser. I use it for her every single night in the winter. We are in the bath section now. I'm looking at little things to kneel on because I really, really need something like this when we're doing her baths lately. Somehow we have never even put a rug down in our bathroom since we remodeled, so the floor is so hard when I'm kneeling there the entire time during her bath. There's this really cute whale one. It's so cute. And then there's also this one. It's a little more neutral, but both of them even match our bathroom, which is perfect. There are the Mamaroos. We loved our Mamaroos so much. They have basically any kind of diapers and wipes that you're looking for here. They have cloth diapers, um, any kind of potty training stuff. We've used Pampers water wipes ever since Quinn was born and we really like them. She's never had a diaper rash and I think that's partially why. So we're gonna get some of those while we're here too. We're in the clothing section now. The most fun part. I am getting her some pajamas in her next size that she needs because I don't think I have every size so far I've had some like ready for the next size and I don't have anything in the next size that she's gonna need which will be 12 months so look at this little kiwi one that I just found I'm gonna get her a few more things in her next size okay they have this entire counter dedicated to making a baby registry you can literally schedule with a consultant and come in and they will help you make your baby registry. Okay, we got a few things for Quinn's birthday and a couple things for her room. And I think we're finished up, so we're gonna get this stroller and then probably be done. She has been such a good shopper. She's literally been perfect the entire time. And we've been here quite a while because we walked through the entire store and there's so much stuff and it was so fun. Hi guys, it's the next morning. I actually just got back from getting my hair done, but I wanted to show you some of the stuff that we got from Bye Bye Baby yesterday that I didn't show while we were there. We had so much fun. They literally have everything you could possibly need for your baby. We did a little bit of shopping for Quinn's birthday and I think that was my favorite part because they have a huge selection of like toys, books, games, all that kind of stuff. Also, we did end up getting the baby jogger stroller, which I'm so excited for coming up in spring and summer because you guys know we used our stroller a ton last 
last year on the bike path and going on walks and everything. This is one thing that we got for her birthday and Eric actually saw it and picked it out and it's so cool. It's like a three in one. When they first start walking, they can just push it like this and put toys in it and then it becomes like a little thing they can ride and then when they're older, it becomes a scooter. And Quinn's about to start standing up. Like she's starting to pull herself up. She can't quite get on her feet yet, but it's gonna happen super soon. So it'll be nice to have a little thing like this that she can like walk and push. Okay, then these are puzzles and we'd get her a book, but I love getting her educational toys and stuff like this where she can learn while she's playing. And we had puzzles like this growing up. It was almost identical to this one actually. And I remember we loved playing with it. It is like the ages say that it's a little above her age, but I think she'll be able to use these sooner than that. So especially these, it's just like a two piece puzzle with pictures. I definitely think that she'll have fun with these this year. These ones she'll need to be a little older, but she can still even just play with the puzzle pieces. I'm so excited about these and I wanted to get her something like for counting. So I've been looking into books that teach counting, but then I saw that puzzle and it looked perfect. Okay, I came to her room to show you a couple things in here. So I got her a few pajamas in her neck size up just so that I have them when she's ready for them. And then these, these are technically nine month, but these will fit her with her next size clothes too. And then I'm pretty sure this might be her Easter dress. I thought this was so cute. They also had jelly shoes and I had to get them for her. Hopefully they fit her. They say nine to 12 months, but I definitely think her feet are a lot smaller than this. They'll probably fit her this summer. And then this little thing will be for summer too. So cute. Then for her bath, I got the kneeling pad and then also a couple towels because we only have one towel for her and she can use ours, but I do like to have her own just because I love the little hood and I feel like they're softer than ours. These were so cute. They had a lot of options. Okay, this is the last thing that I don't think I've shown yet. Eric saw this laundry basket too, and we have needed a little hamper for her room ever since she was born. We literally just have a laundry basket chilling over there, which is fine, but I've been meaning to get some kind of a cute hamper. And this one was adorable and it like matches her room pretty well too. So I'm very excited about that and that I'll get a laundry basket back because I always need that one. I hope you all enjoyed coming along on our little baby shopping day with us. We had so much fun and Quinn was so good the whole time in the store. I'll link every item that we got below in case you guys wanna look at any of them. Or if you have a baby or small children and shopping in store is harder for you, in-store pickup is helpful for that. I definitely recommend Bye Bye Baby. Everything you get is great quality and value for the price. And don't forget to check out the link in the description. I'll put a link to their website, but like I said, I'll also link everything that I've shown in the video. And I will see you guys very soon in another video. Bye guys.